The city commission has approved a new $1 billion park, complete with a soccer stadium, retail stores, hotels and more. Francis Suarez is back. He's the mayor of Miami, makes frequent appearances on this program. Joining me now. Does David Beckham have anything to do with the soccer stadium? Yes, of course. He's uh, one of the owners of the team, uh, him and uh, the brothers of George and Jose Mas, who are icons uh, of our city, uh, who run a publicly traded company called Mas Tech, a Fortune 500 company, um, proposed uh, a re-envisioning of one of our public golf courses uh, to, to convert it into a 60-acre park, uh, a soccer stadium, without one cent of public financing, uh, 20 acres of additional ball fields, uh, soccer fields, and the city is going to net, when you consider taxes, which they're paying, in addition to fair market value rent, uh, the city is going to net over the course of 99 years approximately $7 billion in income. So while other cities and and and, and states are giving massive subsidies uh, for, for team owners, we're actually generating billions of dollars in revenue for the city. What do you think your chances are of getting the World Cup eventually to play a few games in Miami? I think our chances are great. Uh, we had uh, Gianni Infantino, who is uh, the president of FIFA in Miami uh, just a couple weeks ago, um, and I feel great about it. We put together a great package for him. You know, we're very, very accustomed to uh, having large events like uh, the World Cup. We, we are, we've had the most Super Bowls in the history of Super Bowls, um, and we have great facilities. We're going to have Formula One uh, beginning this Thursday uh, through Sunday in Miami. It's going to be the first Formula One in the history of Miami. It's only the second race in the United States and, you know, one of 22 races in the world. So Miami is the only city in the world that has all the major sports and Formula One. So it's, uh, it's going to be an incredible week this week in Miami. You are positioning Miami as very much the city of the future, always looking forward. I mean, you, you, t you and I have spoken many times about your use of crypto. You've got the soccer stadium, you've got the Grand Prix, you've got the vibe. I used to think of California as always the place of the future. That's where the future was. But, you know, I've got to say, I don't mean to flatter you, but increasingly, I think of Florida in exactly the same way. And I'll bet you agree with me. I totally do. I mean, obviously, the, the place of the future is where people congregate. We now have critical mass. We've moved $2 trillion in assets under management companies in the last 18 months. We've grown our venture capital pipeline by 200%. We're number one in tech job growth. We have an unemployment rate of 1.4%. And as you know, Financial Times just named us yeah. the most important city in America. So uh, things are, are looking very, very good in Miami as we position ourselves into the next generation. I've never asked you... But are you a Democrat or a Republican? I'm a Republican. I've been a Republican since I was 18 years old. I'm proud to be one. Um, and I think, uh, you know, it, it's an exciting time uh, to be a Republican, a young Republican. Um, and that's something that I think uh, allows us to redefine our party looking forward. Are you making any money out of that crypto business yet? <laughs> Well, our, our community is making a lot of money. As I told you the last time that I was on, we've, uh, you know, we've, we've generated a tremendous amount of jobs, hundreds of millions of dollars in sponsorship deals, and we have the largest crypto conference in America. Uh, your, your video froze there. We could hear what you were saying, but the video froze. I presume you were smiling when I flattered you. Uh, Matt, your <laughs> honor. For sure. <laughs> your Honor, always good to have you on the show. Come and see us again soon, please. Thank good you, to, sir. Good to see you, Barney. You All got right. it. Uh,